Well, I guess I'm starting to do the updates for fitness stuff. <laughs> Honestly, Le Mills from all the workouts that I've tried is the most fun and polished experience. I did couple sessions after the release. It is not easy at all if you turn up the difficulty. It really makes you sweat and push your stamina. Today we'll check out new workouts they've added. I'm not sure where is it? Okay, here we go here. So you have two beginner, two medium and one hardcore. I'm sort of like in the middle between medium and high intensity. Most of the times I look at the features and just what it focuses on also what's the style like a lot of punches or kicks i'm not sure if i should do big blowout like it might be too much but wait is she new or she just changed her hairstyle <laughs> okay if it's for the video let's just do it i'm also curious if the quality stayed the same because it's new content but we'll see what happens when you get a bit of speed and a bit of agility oh it's called an intense workout oh my god all right, this is advanced. Turn to back yourself. Combo stance, left foot forward, double left hook. Whoa! Double right hook. Low squat. T punch, chest punch. Do it again. Now it's your combo. So with that squat, remember toes out, knees out. Brace your abs. Tuck your chin. Head in. With the double hook. Think about punching from the hip, releasing the heels. Lift your elbow just a little more and strike through. It's fast. But it's also really good if you keep it sh Just real quick, I feel like this is a new environment that I didn't see. It's nice, it's very like artsy art style. Like you would pull up something from Deviant Art. It's interesting developers lean to like fantasy stuff. Short and powerful. Now we're gonna dominate your left side with a low jab, uppercut, straight jab, sky punch. On repeat. Let's go. So this is how you learn to roll your shoulders. Low jab, uppercut, straight jab, sky punch. Down, up, through, up, down, up, through, up. Get them shoulders rolling, chest further away. We're gonna put it all together. Jab, cross, eight, go. Oh, wow. Turn out your left side. Double hooks. Here comes your low squat. Get down, tuck it in, do it again, go. There's some flow going on with the shoulders, and now you're holding your ground. Hold your ground. Turn it in, turn it up, get low. All right, triple right knee is come off the back leg. Now triple jab, left, right, left. Do it again. So with that triple knee, get the heel to the butt, pull the elbow past the rib. Single knee, triple. Watch out for the uppers. Yeah, you're getting bougie, all right? We're gonna put it all together. What? Let's go, eight. Dominate your left side, hold your ground. Double. Oh my God. <laughs> Incoming knees, power up, smash those circles, come on, drive the hands past the ribs, past the thigh. Whoa, I'm just trying to keep up, let's do it on the right side, two right hooks, go! Left side, now squat, T-punch, stand up, centre, hit it again. Now you know what you've got to do, we want to feel it in the shoulders, feel it in the legs, feel it in the core. Come on, now we're training, we are working out together. Elbows nice and high. That's going to give you great alignment. Beautiful footwork. What? Now, new strike. We go down, up, middle, sky. Down, up, middle, sky. We're dominating the right side. That first target that's slightly angled down, that is a low downward jab that sets you up to roll the shoulder down the cut, then the center punch, then the sky. All right, come on. What do we got? Let's put it together. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Come on, dominate. Two hooks. Back on the left side. Now, quick squat go. T, stand up. Love it. Nailed it. It's okay to miss a few reps. That's normal. This is advanced. It's pretty quick. It's tricky. All right, now grab for rear knee. Put the weight on the front leg. Yep. Awesome. A three, two, one. Now pull the elbows down past your thigh. Back to the jabs. Now we're going to single the knee. Jabs. Single the knee. Uppercuts. Come on. Grab, pull, strike. A one, two, three. Grab, pull, strike. Uppers. Woo! Eight, seven, six, five. Right side, dominate. Hit it. I don't know about you, but my lungs are on fire. I'm breathless. <laughs> I feel winded. Come on, nail it. Push through. Come on, be the master. Up, up. Oh, winner, winner. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, seems like everything is the same. The commentary, stuff like that is all polished still. 
left stands left foot forward. This is going to come so thick and fast. Get ready, people. Don't hold your breath. Lift the elbows on the downward punches and then drive through on the jabs. Big jab pattern. Head down. Head up. Head up. Head down. Head up. Head down. Here we go. Get down. Get up. Stay down. Strike. Stand strong. Oh, wow. Sky punch. Down up. Now there's your diagonal knee. Stay down. Knees out. Toes out. Brace the abs. Chin in. Drive out the glutes. Smash the knee. Lift the elbows. Lock onto the uppercut target. Slip left. All right, now you've got to dodge with your shoulders. So roll your shoulders forwards and back. Uppercuts. Same side. Oi, that was sneaky. Same side. <laughs> Down with punches. Breathe. Well done. How'd you feel? I know, I know. That's how this rolls, though. <laughs> with this kind of intensity, you're going to be looking to really challenge your reactions. Can you see something and react to it? Get precision. Just keep your rights and your lefts moving, people. Let's keep moving. Let's get the legs going. Down up. Stay down. Knees out, toes out. Squeeze the glutes. Inhale, exhale. Pull across. Slam. Lift the elbows. Launch the upper. Well done. Woo! Man, it's warm down here. Oh, I'm done. I'm dying. You reckon you got this one? Should we lock on again? Hey. Awesome wide front stance. Let's start down. Come up. Down. Up. Now you've got this rhythm. Quick, quick, heavy. Left, right, left, and a right, left, right. Now stay down on it. And what I mean by staying down on it is lean the body weight forward, crunch your abs, tuck your chin in, drive your punches down. You'll burn more calories. Okay, now low squat. Hit your strikes whilst you're down there. Quick stand up, new move. Cross. Cross oh. the line of the body. What was that? So it's your left hand to the right corner, and now your right hand to the left corner. So you need more hip and heel rotation. Great. Wide range rotational crosses from front starts. Turn the body. Turn the body. Now slip right, slip left. Slip right. Hello, obliques. Now you're going to stay. Slip right two times. Put your uppercuts. Slip to your left. Hello. Back to the downward strikes and stand up. Okay, we're going to do that again. We're going to do it again because you deserve to do it again. And you really want to experience that new long range rotational cross from a wide front stance. Fast reactions, fast timing. Okay, squat down, stay down. Now stand up, you know what you've got to do. Turn the body now, boom. Turn the body now, boom. Excellent, you got that one. Fantastic, come on. Dig deep, dig deep. Even if you don't hit the center of the target, it's not registering points. As long as you commit to turning and striking, I'm going to say you got it. Okay. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> I reckon we're going to own this right foot forward. We've got the combos. Go. I know you know these combos. I'm not even going to say your rights and your lefts. I'm just going to let you get it. Go. Shoulders are rolling. Chin's tucked in. Taking a big breath and starting to put our name all over this workout. Let's put some work in and get the results out, people. Leg time. Down. Oh, the intensity is real here. That front knee feels so good when you slam and drive with heel to butt. Toes out. Strike hard. Get your breathing going, people. Inhale, exhale. Shoo. Slip time. I like this bit. Rolling the shoulders, owning your targets. Placing precision on the punches. Well done. Hit the down. Now this music's telling me and you that it's almost time to let go for one final go. It's one final time. You didn't come here to muck around. You came here to throw it down, so throw it down! Self-belief starts with you. Now I believe you can do it. Do you believe you can do it? Then let's get it on! Legs! Hey! Yeah, Thrust! Pull it across hard and fast. Reach and pull. Come on. Smash time. Hold on to your combos. Hold on. Laser focus. One finish line. One winner. 
One blue target. Smash. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I can't. <laughs> Why I chose this workout even? <laughs> Alright, let's start with some boxing. So, wide front stance, power jab on the left, power jab on the right. Awesome. Now we're going to speed things up, change up the levels. Head body on the left, and then on the right side. What? Full range extension, great alignment, gives you power, gives you points. Now, power hooks left and right for two, four quick uppercuts. Squat, stand up, slip right, and to your left. Now I know it looks fast, but it's actually quite cash. Here's a little tip for you. As you come out of the squat, initiate the slip. So come out, lean to your right, come out, lean to your left. Okay. Awesome. Last one. And time. All right, shake it off. Karate low block to your left, to the right. So both hands go to your left, both hands go to your right. So you're striking down the little fingers. Speed it up. <laughs> At the end range, as you strike the targets, you want straight arms. But in a wide, low front stance where the chest is up, abs are braced. Now, these are power blocks. Go. Quick, quick, double, double. Now, imagine in karate, someone was going to kick you. You would, oh, yeah, you would block. Stay down in the legs. Grounded. Poshly upright. All right, put your left leg forward. <laughs> Some boxing. We go head body. Now a double jab cross. Go. Up, down, up, down. Single. Oh, hey. I love it. Love it. Now power hooks. Left and right. Quick uppercuts. Squats down. Stand up and jab. Ooh, yeah. Fast. But it's advanced. Come on. As you throw the hooks, remember the hip heel releases. As you throw the uppercuts, elbows stay close to the ribs. And as you squat, stand up with a long straight jab. We're going to bring in some kickboxing now. Let's go forward, side, forward, side, grab target for knee. Chest strike, and then that double T strike with the little fingers. Now let's try and get a little bit more weight. So press your weight forward to the side, forward to the side, lean on your back foot. Give it a go. It doesn't matter if you miss one or two strikes. It's no big deal. There is no judgment here. We leave our ego at home and we really only focus on the good stuff. <laughs> you are the good stuff. You doing this workout right now, that's the good stuff. Oh, thank you. Oh. <laughs> so now you know how this rolls. Let's really take this one home. Head buddy, head buddy. I love the double jab. It's light fast. In fact, it's really fast. Now we're moving into the power phase. Try something. When it comes to the uppercuts, think about creating a flurry of punches. That's right. And then with the stand and bang, get into the legs. And as you drive out of the floor, sting the jab. Sting it. Even the targets are making ah, 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 noises. <laughs> All right, let's move it. Move it. Big expansive moves. That big drive in front knee. So your whole body's getting behind these punches. It ain't just your arms. It's your whole body. Think about throwing your body weight behind every target. Hey. Exhale on the knees, especially on the knees. Contracting the core, big core work. I see blue, I see blue. Destroy it! Yeah. <sighs> I can do it. <laughs> Alright, let's start in a left combat stance. Hands up. Alright, quick. Double left jab, double right cross. Go! Now, power hooks. Left and right. Now, jab cross, upper, upper. Slip right and left. What? Yep, squat out the way. Stand up and hook. Repeat it. Repeat it from the top. Go! Look at that. I told you it was going to test you, and it is exciting. You are absolutely incredible. I am so impressed by you. I'm impressed by your speed, by your power, by your control, by your effort. You are relentless. Great. Get the shoulders out the way. Come on. Okay, quickly, get into a wide front stance. <laughs> this one's going to blow your mind. Low squat, stay down. Eight jabs, go. Left and right. Eight, seven, six. Now, hammer out. Great. Stay down, slip left. Stay down, slip right. Stay down, left. Stay down, right. What was that? What was that? Next time you do it, stay in the squat. Don't come up. All you've got to do is slip to the left, but you're staying in the squat pattern. And now you should feel the side of your waistline. Grab the knee, change to the right, back onto the left, 
I love it. It's a combination of kickboxing and boxing. Throw a bit of fitness in there, and hello, you are a Terminator. Just don't get me, all right? I'm on your side. <laughs> punches. Come on, fitness punches now. This is just the training section. No combinations. Just everything you've got. One, two, one, two, one, two. You got it. You got it. Back upstairs from the knees. Oh, oh yeah. I like to think of these as Muay Thai knees. A grab, pull, strike. Shoulders back. Brace abs to support the lower back. Boom. Let's say we do it again, but we really smash this side. Doubles, go. Are you getting precision? Are you moving your body around these targets? Let's pretend that right now you are the most powerful version of you. There's nothing that can stop you. The freedom to move. Whatever's thrown at you, you're going to smash it. Just like that, like you're doing right now. Moving your body around. Hooking and ducking. Good job, people. Let's go front stands. Oh, this one blows my ears back. You're down for a while, but it's worth it. Let's go! Right in front of you and right out in your peripheral vision. Trust yourself. Now stay down and slip. This is awesome oblique training. Look in those muscles at the side of the core. Stay down! Jokes on you. Flex is my strongest part of the body. <laughs> Get out the way! But I Woo! fucked up the combo. That's so good! Ugh. Release the knees. Oh, hey, jelly legs or what? Like Dan said, Muay Thai. There's a whole lot of power in that knee drive. It feels good to get out of the legs, but it feels even better to use them. So slam the controllers past the side of the legs. Drive the heel to the butt and let's punch. Get some flow going, get some flow going. The freedom in cardio. Freedom in you, baby. Knees! So now you're really sweating. Woo! This is quality time, well spent. You made it here, you're gonna make it work. Big blue target! <sighs> Give me a few minutes. I'm literally dead from this. <laughs> I'm hot, I'm sweating, I'm dying. It's everything all together. So the whole update seems amazing. Essentially the polish didn't go down at all I would say. Really good intensity, the commentary is thumping as always. Sometimes it can be cringe but it really gives you like energy or just feels natural like someone would actually instruct you in the gym to give your all and push through whatever challenge they throw at you. Also I figured out this chart here. Obviously it's not real, it's driven by statistics and kind of like what the average or certain levels in Lemil would are Achieve. At the same time, you don't really care because you want to compete and be the best. That's kind of natural for the whole sportsmanship. But yeah, I definitely <laughs> am tired. <laughs> I do really stand behind everything that Lemil represents. It's such a surprise to me that I would like a workout that much, even though sometimes I don't really have time for it. Currently, it's my all-time choice for like a cardio stuff. Like if I could pass this high intensity, then I feel like I can take on anything here now. I'm definitely waiting for more updates because it's worth it.